All right, so if you guys have been on Twitter at all today, you guys know that last night was the uh, multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty World at War, which looks badass in my opinion, by the way. It looks super awesome. It's what we needed, you know, back to the old school. It kind of looks like World at War had a little baby with Battlefield, but then it's still Call of Duty. It's really weird looking. If you guys haven't saw it, seen it, see, seen it, saw it, go check it out. It's all over YouTube and Twitch. Just like literally search Call of Duty World War II reveal. You'll find it. It's not hard. But a bunch of people, there's 1450 points, but there's one kill in this game. Is this one of those games that just keeps going on? Okay, whatever, we're gonna chill in here. But as you guys know, every Call of Duty game that comes out, and sometimes when map packs come out, or just new things in COD come out, they invite people to go out, like they fly them out to, uh, what is this, Activision or whatever? So Activision, like, picks a certain amount of people. I think it was like, who got to go out there? Like, Pomage, Team Martin, Drifter, like, people like that. Like, really big Call of Duty YouTubers get to go out there and do things. And some of those people are actually able to go there and, like, record gameplay for their YouTube channels, which is just awesome because it lets their audience and, like, everybody that looks it up, like, watch actual gameplay of the game not just a trailer because you know usually you guys can all know this whenever they upload like a uh, gameplay reveal trailer for like a uh, multiplayer it's always like the one sensitivity just like cinematic looking gameplay it's not actual gameplay because they obviously want to make it look as good as they can which makes sense because they're trying to sell their game or whatever this motherfuckers up above me okay go hit a pooper dog i'm down here Suck. But Pomage, if you guys haven't seen it, go to Pomage's channel. He uploaded like a really good sniper gameplay. It was only like, this dude, I think this dude just did a trick shot in the game. But he's like modding. He's like up top doing some dumb shit with some god mode or whatever. Let's see what he did. Did he hit a shot or no? Did you just hit the ladder stall? Okay, who'd you, what do you mean? Who'd you even kill? What? Complete aimbot shot. Shot nobody and wins. I had the most kills in the game and that guy won. I had second most kills. That don't matter. And that's why we can't wait for the new Call of Duty because all the people that play these CODs now are just cheaters. But anyway, back to the subject. Pomage uploaded a sniper gameplay and it looked really badass. He actually got the first collateral. He got like a collat headshot in the game. You can see in the video. But the sniping looks super good. I don't know if there's aim assist or anything like that. I don't know. The game just looked refreshing. It kind of looks like World at War a little bit, but you know, in my opinion, I think it looks badass. But the big thing that everyone's freaking out about is as of right now i mean things always change the game doesn't come out for another like how long what is it, it doesn't come out for like what another three or four months or something and people already start complaining about things and already start having doubts about the game but the big thing that people are freaking out on twitter right now about is all the trick shotters are freaking out that there's actually no final kill cam for the game anymore they kind of took away from overwatch what overwatch did and it's now going to be play of the game and not just the final kill cam so i think it's like some sort of thing in the game to where like whoever gets the most amount of kills in the shortest amount of time like in like a five or six second frame of like nuts i don't know what i'm trying to say whoever gets like the most kills or the most points or something like that in the shortest amount of time it'll take that and highlight that for the clip of the game and that'll show at the end of the game rather than a final kill cam so all the trick shotters are all freaking out and stuff but you know it's it's really not the end of the world we're gonna be fine okay we can't trick shot and have a final kill cam i'm still gonna play this shit out of the game and the game's gonna be fun and it's gonna be badass nonetheless but there's people already on twitter just losing their mind and busting all kinds of nuts because like we're never gonna be able to trick shot again bo2 for another no, 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 no. i think bo2 died about two weeks ago whenever it's they there's just modders and just nothing but jtags and aimbots and hacks in the, in the entire game that kind of killed the game for me but i mean you never know things could change it could only be for like certain game modes that there's like a play of the game or whatever like in free for all i guess it could kind of work with any game mode honestly because in every single game mode you get kills and points and however many points you get can be hit in like a small amount of time for play of the game or whatever but you never know like you guys got to be optimistic about it. i mean i'm really not i'm not gonna like be complaining that much if there's no kill cam in the game i really don't care i'm still gonna do the same thing i do i'm gonna play the game i'm gonna snipe i'm gonna go for trick shots i'm just gonna do fun shit not having a kill cam is really not the end of the world for me i'm not gonna care that much i'm not gonna lie to you guys i mean sure kill cams are badass and they're like a really fun part cool part of the game that they introduced when did they introduce kill cams i think it was mw2 was it this game Final kill cams, not just like kill cam, like final kill cams for the game. I think MW2 was the first game to have final kill cams, yeah. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but I think it was. But I mean, if I was making a game, I would, re you know, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. Like, I think they're both really good ideas, but honestly, I think play of the game is smarter and a much cooler thing because somebody can do like hit the nastiest clip and like have the most amount of kills in the smallest amount of time or whatever, and it won't show it for the final kill cam. You want everyone at the end of the game to see the best thing that happened in that game. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, why just show the final kill cam when you can show literally the best thing that happened in that game? And another thing people noticed from the gameplay that people are uploading is that the kill feed only like the kill feed goes away super fast or it fades super fast or something like that but i think that happened in bo2 or not bo2 bo3 as well didn't people complain about the kill feed in that game like it went away too quick and then they adjusted it and everyone was happy i mean like things are gonna get adjusted until like like if we got if we complain that much on twitter about certain amount of things like they're gonna change shit you know but in my opinion i don't think people are gonna stop trick shotting it's just not gonna be in the final kill cam you know like call of duty 4 was fun as shit to go for shots on like go for bounces and stuff and you can still do it for the final kill of the game to win the game for your team or win the game in free for all and you're still gonna get like 
like when you hit the shot and the game ends like that's badass but just because it doesn't show it at the end of the game as a kill cam in slow-mo doesn't mean like people aren't gonna do it anymore i'm still gonna do it i'm still gonna have fun i'm just gonna do whatever i do not now normally it doesn't matter if there's a kill cam or not you know but there are gonna be those people that are like dude i'm never trick shotting if there's not a kill cam fuck that like, it really doesn't matter dude in my opinion i mean everyone has their different opinion i'm not right okay this is just my opinion but i think everything's gonna be just fine okay i am excited for the game i'm not the type of dude to see a game and instantly start complaining about it unless i see people dressed up as fucking rubber duckies flying around in space then i'll complain but if it's what we've been asking for boots on the ground and like old school gameplay and like gore like it has like world at war gore like we stab someone they blood squirts everyone and stuff like that's the stuff we've been asking for and we're getting it now i don't think i'm gonna go ahead and start complaining about other things because i feel like that's kind of disrespectful in a way isn't it like you start complaining about stuff and then they fix the things you're complaining about and then they find new things to complain about i mean that's how kind of life works people just find something to complain about especially on the internet man the internet people on the internet complain more than anyone i've ever met in my entire life probably just because it's easy to complain on the internet and all you have to do is like type but I'm not the type of dude to start complaining about something before it even happens, you know? I'm just gonna try my best to enjoy the game. It looks fun as shit. I'm gonna have a great time with it, I already know. Like, I had a great time with Modern Warfare Remastered, and it's literally just Call of Duty 4. It's a game I've played for years, just remastered, and I still felt like a brand new game to me, and I had a shit little shit of fun on it. But you know, it just didn't do that hot on YouTube, because it was still Call of Duty 4. Like, people have seen it, everything's been done, all that kind of stuff. I mean, kind of, just for instance, think about Black Ops 2. I remember when Black Ops 2 came out, people were hating on that game so much, just because of, like, MMS site and Target Finder. Like, people thought that that shit was too like futuristic like people thought that shit was futuristic dude they had no idea what was coming i literally remember people hated on black ops 2 so much dude and i look at that black ops 2 is one of like the most like call of duties and the most played call of duties of all time and especially like youtube wise everybody on youtube loved bo2 the game did crazy good everyone liked watching it there was so many views on that game so in my honest opinion i don't think trick shotting is gonna die there's just not gonna be final kill cams we will be just fine i think it's still gonna be fun as hell to go into free-for-all and snipe and try to get like sniping clips and then hit a shot for the last kill the game to win it and get badass gameplays and all that stuff it's still gonna be fun on a brand new game where there's no jetpack rubber ducky ass i'll tell you what if you guys do not leave a like on this video there's gonna be jetpacks in call of duty world war 2 and the game's gonna suck and everyone's gonna hate it and everybody's gonna die and trick shot is gonna die and sniping's gonna die and youtube's gonna die so you better leave a like on the video and subscribe thank you for watching i love you my baby made me some coffee afraid that if i drink some it's probably coming right back out me couple of advil relax and chill at a standstill with how bad i feel I think I need to smell fresh air, so I stepped out the back door and fell down the stairs.